हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड डिस्कशन ऑन मैश एनालिसिस कंसीडरिंग ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स द सुपर मैश केस एज वेल एज द डिपेंडेंट सोर्सेस सो दैट वाज वन मेथड फॉर एनालिसिस ऑफ सर्किट्स इन टूडेज टूडेज वीडियोस आई विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू टॉपिक फॉर एनालिसिस ऑफ सर्किट्स विच इज नोन एज नोडल एनालिसिस नोडल एनालिसिस इज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ किच ऑफ करंट लॉ विच स्टेट दैट एल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ करेंट एट ए जंक्शन इज जीरो सो फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द नोडल एनालिसिस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट we will be applying this kcl at that nodes only which will have three or more branches connected to it so we need to understand what's the difference between node and junction node is interconnection of two or more branches so if we are having two resistances r1 and r2 they are connected together then this is a node if we have one more branch connected over here like this where three resistances are connected this is basically a junction it's three or more while node is interconnection of two or more uh, two or more circuit elements or two or more branches so if we have just two branches connected we want to see that how to apply kcl so when we have only two resistances connected it means they are connected in series so when they are connected in series at that time the kcl application will not give us any significant result because in series the current remains same while if we have three or more branches obviously there will be current division so if i suppose that current is flowing towards the node in this case and through r2 and r3 it's away from the node then we can apply kcl over here that the current i1 that is equal to i2 plus i3 as per kcl so what we can say all junctions are nodes but all nodes are not junctions we will call this method as nodal analysis but we will be applying the kcl to those nodes which will have three or more branches basically which are junctions so this will be a node where we will be applying kcl not on this node so what is done in nodal analysis there are four major steps let's consider this circuit to understand nodal analysis so we have a current source in this branch voltage source in series with r2 the first step is we have to find out that how many nodes are there so if we see nodes with three or more branches means basically how many junctions are there so we have three junction uh, two junctions one and two first step is identify nodes which are junctions in the network once we find like like over here we have to assign one of nodes as 
reference. So I will consider this one as reference. Reference means this one is at zero potential. The next step is assign voltage to all other nodes with respect to reference. So, with reference to this node, I will assign voltage to this as let us say Vx. And the last step is apply KCL at all nodes except the reference node. So, on this node we will apply KCL. Now, when we look on this network, we know that the direction of current through R1 is towards the node as we have a current source connected in this and the current source direction is already marked. And we do not know what is the direction of current through resistance R2 and R3. As we do not know, so let us assume that both of the currents are outgoing currents. So, the KCL equation will be incoming current I that is equal to current through R2. Now, current through R2 is potential difference divided by resistance. Now, what is the potential difference? Vx minus the voltage of this voltage source that is V minus potential of reference that is 0 upon R2. Then we have current through R3 plus current through R3 is again potential difference divided by resistance R3. So, Vx minus potential of reference upon R3. So, this is what we have to write. Now, let us consider another circuit where we have more than two nodes. I am considering two voltage sources V1, V2, multiple resistances Now, what is our first step? Our first step is we have to identify that how many nodes are there. Nodes means where we are having interconnection of three or more branches. So, this one is a node where interconnection of three branches is there. This one is a node and then we have this one. Now, you need to understand that this one is only one node not two different nodes. Why? Because we do not have any circuit element in between these two. So, whatever the potential over here, same is the potential over here. So, we have in total three nodes in this case and we will assign this one as a reference. You can select any of the nodes as reference. Now, usually it is the practice that the node which is only is having maximum number of elements connected to it that is considered as reference. So, in this case, if we compare the three nodes, first one is having three elements, second one is having three elements, while the third one is having four elements, one, two, one, two, three and four. So, four, four elements are there. Now, we do not know the direction of current in any of the branch. So, we need to assign the current directions, but before that, we need to assign the potential to the nodes with respect to reference. Let us say the voltage of this node is Vx and this one is Vy. Now, I will assign the, as we do not know the direction of current, I will assign all of the currents as 
outgoing currents the currents they are leaving this junction so current through r1 is so when i apply kcl at node x let's say this is x node this one is y node vx minus v1 upon r1 is the current through r1 vx minus v1 minus 0 now it's your choice whether you want to write it as minus 0 or you can simply write it as vx minus v1 upon r1 plus current through r2 is vx minus 0 by r2 or simply vx by r2 then current through r3 is vx minus v by now as we have assumed that current is flowing from node x towards node y so it's vx minus vy upon r3 it should be equal to 0 because we don't have any current which is towards a node x all of them are moving away from node x so then we have to apply kcl to node y next step is apply kcl to node y so node y again we don't know what is the direction of current so again i will assume that all the currents are leaving this node now it's not necessary that we have to assume this current current through r3 as that it is coming towards node y we can assume that this one is leaving node y now you can see that how it's true now when i consider that this current is leaving node y it means i am assuming that node y is at higher potential as compared to node x so current through resistance r3 will be vy minus vx upon r3 that is the current which is leaving this node then current through r4 is vy by r4 current through r5 is vy minus v2 upon r5 equal to 0 since all the currents are leaving and we don't have even a single current which is entering this node so sum is equal to 0 now let's see if we would have considered this one as incoming so if we would have considered this one as incoming then what would be the equation equation would be like vy upon r4 is a current through r4 resistance then vy minus v2 upon r5 that is a current through r5 now since we have assumed that this current is coming towards node y so next we will have current vx minus vy upon r3 but this one is incoming current so sum of outgoing currents is equal to incoming current now if we compare these two equations both are same if we take this term on this side it will become same as this equation so this is how it doesn't matter that how we consider the current it accordingly the equation will change and we will have same equation at the end now we can solve these equations for the unknowns and we can analyze the circuits accordingly now we can have a special case as well in nodal analysis the special case is like that we have a voltage source over here and the circuit is similar to the previous one only difference is the resistance which was there in series with voltage source v2 
that is not present in this case. So first step is we have to identify how many nodes are there. 1, 2, node x, node y, voltage vx, vy and this one is reference because the circuit is same. Now when we apply KCL to node x, assume all the currents as outgoing currents. Hmm, apply KCL. So, current through R1 is Vx minus V1 by R1. Current through R2 is Vx by R2. Current through R3 is Vx minus V by R3. And the sum is equal to 0. Now, when we come to node Y, we can write the current through R3. We can write the current through R4. But if you want to write the current through this voltage source, it is not possible since we do not know what is the resistance. So, we could have considered that this is an ideal case where the voltage source is having internal resistance as 0. But if we consider that resistance, then it will be V by minus V2 upon 0, which gives us infinite current, which is actually not possible. On the other hand, if we see that the potential difference between node y and reference is actually equal to v2. So, we get the value of one node voltage directly same as v2. So, this is what happens when we have a voltage source between reference and a node. And a node. So, we can say this is a special case in nodal analysis when we have voltage source between the reference and a node. So, that will actually simplify the problem by giving us one of the node voltages directly and we need to apply KCL at the remaining nodes except the reference or node like in this case we had applied it on node x only. So, in next video I will solve the numericals on nodal analysis where we will have the simple this special case as well.